How are we doing? We are back for this 4.30 session live with Trimco Fitness. Hey, I'm your host and celebrity pro trainer, Demetrius Bronson. Today, we have one half of the brothers here, Uriel, here with us today, model and WWE superstar. Hey, what's up, Yuri? Yeah, it's your boy, yeah. Yuri. You know, it's a girl, DD, yeah. you know, my better half. Yeah, he, has, he has his daughter with him today, Gigi. She wanted to join in on the workout and the fun with him. That is all awesome and great. While everybody's at home quarantining, this is how we, we, we spread the love, getting it in and making sure everybody is keeping sane and just staying active. Now, the viewers that are watching, make sure you go to that Trimco Facebook page, press that like, like button, make sure you share it, actually do the workout, tell your friends and family about it, right? To make sure to keep spreading this awareness about the health and fitness way. One cool fact as this uh, coronavirus is going around, the studies were showing that the more healthier people are not getting sick. So that's just saying, you know, working out, eating right, um, not having high blood pressure, um, trying to stay away from diabetes and, and just things that we can semi control from our part will help you in the long run, just not for right now, but from for further things that might be upon us. So again, this is why we're bringing you guys, the superstars here, and to see what they are doing to their day to day um, as we are in this quarantine. Hey, I see you got Gigi there, Yuri. How's the uh, homeschooling going? It's going pretty good. You know, we're making progress. You know, it's a, it's a transition. Yeah, uh, from being in the, the classroom uh, area, and now we're home and uh, a comfortable times. There's a lot of distraction, so mm -hmm. you know we are uh, just getting over that and focusing, focusing on what we need to do. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So I know it's a balance of homework and play time and going doing like that. Here's the structure that we are going to do today. We're going to do a quick warm up and then. For just ending out the day and this evening, this 4.30 session, we're just going to do a little hand rep, meaning we got a few exercises that we're going to see how many times we can get through in a certain period of time. Of course, after that, we'll cool down. So you guys ready to go? If you ready to go, Gigi? Ready to go. <laughs> ready to go right now. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to start with some <laughs> wrist rolls. Hey, so you, so you were modeling WWE, what's the backstory on that? How do you connect those two together? Uh, well, you know, it was early on. My brother, my twin brother and I, we started modeling uh, in our early adulthood. And uh, we used being um, around other um, avenues as far as commercials and things like that and trying out for different roles. We use that in the wrestling field because you have to create a character and you have to become let's say, a dialed up version of yourself. Mm, mm, mm. Now, you ever think about going back into that career of uh, just modeling or you ever dab about going back into, you know, the professional field of uh, just wrestling? Uh, we had a lot of offers and, you know, things of that nature. And, you know, my twin brother and I, we just yeah. wanted to um, – let our bodies heal at this point and uh, get to where we need to get uh, physically because uh, we had a lot of injuries and stuff that were nagging and we just needed to get right with our bodies. Yeah. So right now I'm at the lightest I've been in a while and my body feels good. It's a lot of pain as it was before when we were in that fashion. Um, but you know, so okay, progress. You never say no. Never say never. Yeah. So, now, you guys are twins. How the know. heck are people telling you guys apart? And how did that play a role when you guys are wrestling? Uh, that's the hard part, and that's the fun part at the same time. Uh, we have the same tattoo on the opposite arm. Yeah. So if people are paying attention, they would know that. But it's kind of like a mirror image. So you're thinking in your head, okay, 
Yuri has his tattoo on the left. Gabe has his tattoo on the right. Yeah. But I'm facing him. Which way is he facing? Is he facing the opposite? Too much things that you have to think about when you're trying to decipher and identify which one is which. <laughs> now, what is one thing, last question before we get into this um, little workout, what is one thing that you notice a good habit that you just picked up at home while in quarantine, either with your family, or one thing you just are more thankful for just um, as you've been in? Uh, well, as you know, uh, time. Yeah. Time is everything in the previous profession. Yeah. So, um, the thing I cherish more is having more time with my little ones and just reconnecting and uh, just trying to be there, being the best dad I can be. Mm. Now, so you guys heard it. The ones that are listening in this live stream, time, just the pressures of it, how, you know, we won't get to really hopefully see this much time at home where everything is shut down. So just understanding why there's so much chaos, why there's so much things going on, you know, while we're trying to beat this coronavirus and we will just understanding that this time is precious and each second that you get to wake up with your, with your family and friends because there are unfortunately people that are passing away from this is another blessing you know that 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 we get to cherish on each day so understand through all the stress and and anxiety and anger and pain just just look around you and, and understand that uh, there is you know we there is a way out. We're going to beat this, right? But we just have to keep understanding that time, using this time to, to get ourselves better and understand that this is something that is going away that we're going to beat. Okay, now listen, we're going to get moving a little bit. We're going to do some jumping jacks. We're going to do some high knees. We're going to do some butt kicks. And then we're going to do just some uh, predator jacks. And then we're going to get into this workout like so. Here we go, high knees, three two I mean, one and go nice job oh yeah. big man is yeah. moving with yeah. the daughter there we go yeah let's go look like he still got the juice in him i don't know <laughs> go. yeah the warm up i'm before i go come on i mean yeah there, you yeah. Go. there we go there Love there we have go. the daughter with you we got five more Four. seconds Four, three, two. One, we're gonna go into jumping jacks. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Oh, she's jumping taking jacks, over jacks. the show. I like it. Jumping jacks. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, we got it. Uh huh. We got it. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of it is is what yes, they see on a daily basis, and they see you working out, being active, taking care of the family. That's good. Uh-huh. Uh, two, one. We're going to go into some squats. There we go. Nice and easy. Squat. There we go. Oh, I like it. Nice. Hitting those squats. Go. 30 seconds. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. If you <laughs> that are watching this at home, make sure you do each of these exercises and drill accordingly. Modifications will be made, but yeah. understand that this is for you and your body. Mm -hmm. You know yourself the best. Going from there, there don't go. forget to sweat. Get your workout in. Have that mental capacity to keep pushing yourself. Here we go. We're going to butt kicks. Butt kicks. For your arm most <laughs> there. Nice. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> Is this your favorite? Three, two, one. Yeah. Back to jumping jacks to finish this out for this little jumping jack. woman. Here we go three, two, one, and go. Nice. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Nice. Pretty sure, pretty sure you guys had a pretty good little twin, little yep. uh, special move over there. You think you can still, you guys can still bust one of those out here? Oh yeah. That's all we always got one left in the chamber. <laughs> Two, one, and time. Nice, Kate. 
So let me explain the workout here. It's gonna be 10 minutes total. So we got a few exercises. We're gonna go 30 high knees. After we reach 30 high knees, we're gonna go 15 plank walkouts. All right, after we do the 15 plank walkouts, then we're gonna do hollow rocks. After we do the hollow rocks, we're gonna go 30 bicycles, okay? Right after we do the bicycles, then we're gonna go vertical mountain climbers. So those that have been watching the show, you know what high knees are right here, 30. Okay, again, we're gonna do a plank walkout. Now plank walkout is simply coming down to your toes, walking all the way out to the plank position, coming back up. 15 of those, then hollow rocks. So we're gonna position ourselves like we're in a hollow position, feet up, hands out. Now we're gonna do is rock back and forth, just like we are in a rocking chair. Now, if we need to come here, we can come here like so, bringing our knees in. Okay, after that, we're gonna go 30 bicycles. Let me go back to the ground, 30 bicycles. Okay, one leg, opposite knee, opposite leg, coming towards each other like so. Okay, then the last one is going to be vertical mountain climbers. Like so, I always love different versions of mountain climbers, right? They just get your heart rate up, get the calories burned, they get your sweat on. So again, I'm setting my clock for 10 minutes. We're gonna go, so you're going, through all those exercises. Once you get done with that first circuit, go through it again until that 10 minute timer is up. You guys ready to go? You ready to go, Gigi? Ready. <laughs> all right. You ready to go, Gigi? There we go. Uh, she's, uh, she's in break mode. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one, go. We're going high knees. Nice and easy. Boom. Nice. 30 of them. 11, 12. Yeah. Six, nine, thirty. There we go. Okay, now uh -huh. going into plank walkouts. Nice and simple. Okay, walking it out here. Bang. Coming back out. So you should get a little stretch in here as you're going. Coming back and turn sideways for you guys. Three. Now, at home, you can go slow or fast. Go to your pace. If you need to speed it up. Go back. Go back. Just don't burn it out. Uh -huh. Over here. Stay over there. Stay over there. I'm at eight. Nice. Nine. Ten. Here we go. Go down. Uh huh. Your leg. Yep. There we go. He's He's teaching up. his daughter. Fourteen. Yep. Hands down. Yep. Nice job. Stand up. 15. Yeah. Now, there you go. I'm going to move on to the hollow rocks. We got 30 of them like so. Here. Feet are out. Hands are going in. Rock back and forth. Again, if you need to bring your legs in, you can. Your hands come like so. I'll do the modification for you guys. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nice. This is like a recess for Gigi. Uh-huh. There we go. 20, getting that core. Nice. There we go. That three-minute mark's coming up. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And 30. Nice job. Okay. After that, 
We're going straight in to bicycles. Make sure, okay, that, okay, it's opposite leg, opposite elbow, like so. Here we go. Yeah. Make sure not to pull on your go. neck as you're watching. Nice job. Pop up when you need to, and then have these vertical mountain corners. Here we go. And go. <laughs> 9 30. Nice. Now we're going to keep going. If you guys need a break at home, if you guys need a sip of water, anything, grab that really quick. Okay. 10, 15 seconds and hop back into it. We're moving back in. 30 high knees. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Nice shot. We. Oh, four fifteen in there. She likes the spotlight. I see. I like it. Thirty of those. Okay, coming into the plank walkout. Well, she gets it from somebody, and uh, not too far off. There we go. It's one, and we're standing all the way up. Nice. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Making a break. I like it. Three. Hey, you're about six six, correct? Oh. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Weighing in what? About two? What sixty? 275. 275. Woo! Mm. So you're talking about two no, you twins these. at 275. Do, do three more. <laughs> do three. Let's do it. Nice. Ready? Nine. We're over halfway done. Two, one. Go. Yeah. Ten. Nice job. Eleven. Well, good job. Two more. <laughs> Thirteen. There you go. There we go. Uh -huh. There you go, Gigi. I see you. There you go. And fifteen. Uh -huh. Okay. We are moving on to these hollow rocks. Hollow rocks really blasting this core on this afternoon. Okay. Again, really focus on keeping that back down, taking this 90, 90 position if we need to. Okay, hands coming back and forth as a modification. There we go. Uh huh. Nice. Are you done? <laughs> Two more. <laughs> Two more. There we go. We are almost there, Gigi. We got three minutes. Nice. Moving into bicycles. We're at that seven minute mark. We're almost there. Bicycles. Yeah. You gotta come cycle with us, Gigi. One bicycle. When it hurts, that means it's working. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Here we go. Nice job. Okay. Coming up to those vertical mountain 
climbers like so. We're coming down. We got two minutes, GG. Stick with me for two minutes. It's your favorite. Your favorite. Go climbing, Gigi. Come on. <laughs> now she's becoming a trainer. I like it. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I gotta do it like you got high knees. Uh, that's the second set. We got about a minute and a half left. We'll start these high knees. And after that, we'll move into these planks and then go like so. Almost there. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. What is happening? Here we go. Our favorite? Your favorite, yep. huh? Ow. All right. Nice. <laughs> okay. Moving these planks. So we get about five in in this last minute. We're almost there, Gigi. Nice job coming down. Here we go. She got to do five. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. There we go. Got 30 seconds. Make sure you finish out at home. It's key. This is for you. This is for yourself. Workout Wednesday. Two more. You put your hands on your head like this. Tired. Boom. One more. And that countdown. Two, one, and Time, that's 10 minutes in the books. Hey, GG, give me an air high five. I like it. Air high five, uh, give me an air high five. Uh, yeah, I hey. like it. Hey, well, wait, what hey. we are gonna do now, okay? We'll come to our butts, we'll just, now we're gonna cool down. One of the cool downs. Come to our butts, like so. And then we're just gonna get a stretch as we cool down for here for about five minutes. Now, Yuri, um, after, you know, your ventures with the, you know, a lot of the pros have been talking about adapt, adaptation and adapting to after you get, you know, out of the, out of the pro, the limelight and into the family, kind of into the work life. How have you adapted to that to kind of correlate to what we're going into now? It's that is a great question. Uh, without doubt, this definitely has been an adjustment period. Um, you go from actually working out multiple times a day, and that's all you do. Mm -hmm. And then you come into where I am now. I say uh, civilian life. Um, you come to reality, and you're working your nine to five, trying to fit in your gym life. But at the same time you won't get that that burn, that grind, like you would at our last profession. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, it's a different position from where you are right now because you still stayed in a athletic field. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Me more so, I'm in an office now. And, uh, you know, it's been an adjustment. And I think it worked out for the better as of right now. I get to spend, like I said before, previously, I get to spend more time with my family. Yes. Something that was deprived of before. So as and, we, uh, you know, I get a different perspective in life. So as we bring our middle leg in, um, <laughs> our right leg in, and into this hurdle stretch. Now, I know there's a lot of people at home that are business people that, are, that work the same thing at nine to five. Yes, I was fortunate to kind of stay in this field. Um, just this is what I love. How did what words of encouragement can you give to them, especially being at home and just and just understanding that the significance of staying active, staying at it, how this plays a role in your everyday life, and not to just make it a just a thing to do, but make it a part of their lifestyle. What words would you give to them? Uh, I would just say 
is definitely a grind. The key word is grind, mm. grind, grind. Mm. You have to have that grind because anything that we do, we have to be physically fit and so to speak. Even if you're working in an office, I mean, at the end of the day, you don't want to be a slob. You don't want to walk up your stairs at home and by the fifth stair, you're drawing for breath. Like you just ran a five mile marathon mm. and you want to be active for your kids. I've seen it time and time again where you have parents, they're not really active. They sit back when the kids go out and play, they want to play with their parents, but the parents, they're not physically active. So, you know, they burn out in about 30 seconds mm. playing with the kids and, you know, the kids are deprived of that time. Mm. So it's just it's multiple avenues that go along with that. You just want to live a active life because you are, yeah, tell them. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> right. Yeah, like I was saying. Now, <laughs> Okay, got it. Now, the last words, you know, along with being active, um, how does this cool, play man. a role just on your, your everyday, just just mentally, physically, emotionally, about just feeling good about um, yourself and just, you know, everything around you? It's not only physically, it's also mentally too, right? And just everything that goes around it. Oh, yeah. Everything, is, it all, it's, it renews now and it goes around in a circle. You know, it goes 360. Uh, when you're active, you feel better. You have energy, which allows you to expand your mind in your job field or allows you to do more active things in life, hiking, biking, you know, surfing, swimming, everything. You just feel better. Mm -hmm. So I would say it's very important. Yeah. It's very important to work, but it's also very important to take care of your body. Yeah, you got to have that balance, right? Work and, and family, friends. And also your lifestyle as well too. Hey guys, again, um, Yuri, he's a WWE superstar, and also uh, previously before that he was a in modeling and doing all that with his twin brother, which we will have on later this week. You honestly probably won't be able to tell them apart um, just by looking at them. And just stay tuned. Just you have to see that segment coming up, and his brother Gabe later this week. That. Friday. Now, if you guys want to follow Yuri and his journey and what he's doing from his day-to-day -day life, his social handle is at the fallen ones underscore one. So it's at and then the T-H-E F-A-L-L-E-N ones O-N-E-S underscore one. Okay. He has he's had a great career. He's got a beautiful family. Now he's just in his second, or actually third phase of his life in just doing what a just, a just father, you know, should do is taking care of his family, take care of his kids, and just understanding that um, it's about just staying active, making it a lifestyle, and doing the things that you love to do at the end. Any final words from you, uh, especially uh, for the people that are kind of just in this quarantine that you want to send some positivity to them? Guys, stay positive and look at the bright side during this quarantine. You can cherish the moment. You have unlimited time to be around your friends, family, and loved ones. I'm not saying go out and go to everybody's houses. You don't want to do that, but work in the confines of your own space. You may run into some hobbies that you uh, haven't dibbled in in a while. Your lifestyle, you know, you put them on the back burner, like crafting, drawing, crocheting, other things you just never know. Mm. So uh, I would just say a word of encouragement is speak out the positive and the negative. Mm. Mm, that's key. We got the positive and the negative. Wow. See, again, 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 mm -hmm. these, these pro athletes are bringing some good stuff, some good food for thought. And this is why we are doing this day in and day out. Just while you're at home, just you, they're bringing the positive in this negative, like he just said. All right, Yuri. Hey, I appreciate you joining in and hopping on with us and your daughter Gigi we have to do this again and even if we can maybe Definitely. do it with you and your brother in the same segment which would be awesome kind of going from there That's hey the goal. stay That's stay the goal. safe um, stay sound protect your family and just keep spreading that positivity around and around everybody because we're going to beat this and we're going to get through this appreciate you guys
Hey, here at Trip Coach Fitness, we are out. Demetrius Bronson. Hey, I'll see you guys tomorrow.